Hi everyone, hope you're keeping safe. Just a quick update on my five quid top band end fed wire, uh, which has been working pretty well actually um, for the past few weeks. Some of you will definitely be aware of this antenna. It's basically a single piece of wire, 36.4 meters in length to take into account velocity factor on top band, 160 meters. And it is supported by, well, it was supported by three, by two poles. Uh, if I zoom in here, you can see that it's basically supported at the end of the garden by one of those two uh, fiberglass poles. And then at the other end uh, of the garden, I say the other end, the other side at the end of the garden. So what I've done is I've increased the height uh, across the bottom of the garden by probably two, two, uh, one and a half to two meters, um, and I'm trying to I'm trying to roughly gauge how far above the ground this part of the antenna is now. But um, it must be it's got to be eight at least. I would have thought eight, seven, yeah, seven or eight meters anyway. Um, and then it then basically entered the house uh, through a through a window but what I've done is I've, I've added another pole but a much longer one so you can see that the, the, the near end now the height of this antenna or at least the section that runs down the garden is actually uh, above the apex of the roof which um, I was hoping was going to make uh, a reasonable improvement in terms of how well my signal can be heard on top band and 80 meters actually for that matter. Um, I, I, I'm guessing that I've incre increased the height by uh, four or five meters uh, at, at, the, at this end uh, where the wire then comes down basically and enters the house uh, into the shack. So, um, so overall, a, very significant increase in heights using a well this is one of those uh fiberglass poles um but with a it's got another section actually attached to the bottom of it you can see there a waste pipe basically i mean the other option i've got actually is actually is, is taking this and moving it down to the other to the, to the front of the house to the front end um, but uh, one thing at a time. So, uh, so basically, this section of the antenna is now much higher, and um, I'm hoping that uh, that over a period of time to demonstrate improved performance. Now, what I have done is I've um, I did a quick test with uh, M0 UHF, who uh, very kindly uh, offered to supply his services for receiving. Um, how he was receiving my signal with the improvement and got a signal I've actually got someone on here now um, um, yeah and um, so what we found was uh, I did this on Saturday and um, on Friday evening during our normal sked as usual he, on top band he was copying he copies me about five and nine five and just over five and nine um but with this improvement here now it's only a one it was a one off so um it's difficult to know whether it's because of propagation but generally he copies me at five and nine um he was copying me uh, with a solid signal 10 over so the 10 db improvement on that one occasion on saturday so uh, that kind of does bode well that this improvement uh, in the height of my antenna is going to make a, a a good difference, a significant difference perhaps in how well I'm being heard. Just going to turn the volume up. Trying to, uh, to work it, so it's obviously very difficult. 
So there you go. So again, um, the pole that I'm using, the extra pole that I'm using to increase the height significantly, um, I already had, so it didn't actually cost me anything. Um, and this antenna still has only cost me uh, about well, four pound fifty actually. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that this improvement in height is going to help. Uh, it certainly won't do any harm. I wouldn't have thought. I can't imagine it would. Be, it was going to be any worse. Uh, and initial uh, tests seem to suggest that it has actually indeed made uh, an improvement in uh, my signal strength. So uh, 10 dBs is very significant, uh, of course. So um, let's see what happens. But um, I might. I, I, the next thing I'm going to do is increase the length of it, probably, and run it down the side of the house, but uh, at a height. A, uh, a sort of roof level somehow so uh, but let's see uh, the, it's one step at a time really you make a change to antenna it's really a good idea to test it over a period of time um, to take into account you know the variables that propagation uh, introduce etc and weather um, my antenna this antenna definitely were, is different in terms of its response when it during in very wet weather and that might be because of its cl relatively close proximity at one point to my g5rv and how that's supported so um uh, it's always a good idea to make sure that you're trying to you, you kind of compensate for the effect of, uh, of variables as much as you can and really that just means testing for a period of time but um but i'm yeah, happy with that so far um particularly in terms of the actual what it actually cost um you can't really go wrong can you and um i'll tell you there's nothing There's nothing better than building your own antenna and discovering that it actually that it actually works really well. Um, then there's a, I get more satisfaction out of that than spending a load of money and buying one. So maybe that's just because I'm a bit tight. I don't know, but uh, that's just me. So uh, there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, thanks for all the people that viewed my weekend uh, catch-up video that is becoming a sort of regular weekly thing now. I enjoy doing them, and um, they seem to be pretty popular. I think this one's had over 400 views, which is amazing. Um, I will carry on doing them, and uh, as long as you guys are interested in watching them. So uh, that's all good, but I just thought I would share this little piece of uh, news with you um, on my on my top band antenna and um yeah as i said it's just brilliant to uh to build something uh yourself particularly cheaply and uh, and it works so there you go okay well everybody have a good week keep safe and uh look forward to your comments on the channel uh thanks for watching seven three